Hey, what's up everyone, and it's finally time for another video. Today, let's talk about bills. Every month you're going to receive a gas and electricity bill. But how do you pay it? Well, the good news is, you don't need an account. It's tied to the house and the landlord, so all you need is this piece of paper. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can pay it. First, we're going to need a bank. We'll go to a branch of bank that you've got your account with. For me, that's Kungmin. So, let's go. So, this is a Korean ATM. In different banks, they do look slightly different, but they always have about the same options. And we're going to do a bank transfer today. So, first, let's change the language to English. And you'll get an option a bit like this. You're using your Korean bank account, so choose domestic. And this is a bank transfer. You have to put in your card. Now we chose a ATM that belongs to the same bank account that you have because transferring to a different bank um, can cost extra money. Uh, we're going to choose the same bank that you have. Conveniently listed on your bill will be a list of bank possible bank accounts that you can transfer into and you will always choose the same bank as the one that you have to avoid extra charges. Enter in the number accurately of course and press OK and on your bill there will be an amount to pay, we have to enter that now. One eight nine six oh. The security question and then put in a PIN number, which you don't get to see, of course. Just a final confirmation. Uh, there is still a charge, which is a shame, but it's a lot cheaper if I do it in my own bank account. Go! I paid this bill. It's done. You always get a receipt as well. So, see you outside. So, now you know how to do a bank transfer with an ATM. There are a couple more things that I want to say about it. First, we did specifically choose an ATM that belongs to the bank that you have an account with. If you take your card to a different ATM, whilst you can do withdrawals, and deposits you can't do transfers so it has to be an ATM with the bank that you're with there was still a charge even though we transferred from my Kungmin uh, account to the bills Kungmin account it's one of the downsides to doing a transfer like that uh, using an ATM you would be able to do a transfer using the online banking or using maybe your bank's app or perhaps Kakao Pay, and you should be able to avoid the charge. However, you will need to know Korean in order to use those interfaces. So it's a downside for that kind of method. There is actually one more, perhaps more straightforward method that I'd like to uh, explain to you today. And that is if you take your bills paper to a convenience store such as 7-Eleven, CU, GS25 uh, and you take it to the person on the desk you will be able to pay your bill directly in person in the convenience store however of course there's a catch as with all of these things you need to pay in cash it doesn't have to be the exact change, they will be able to give you change, but you have to go to an ATM and get the cash out first. 
to pay for it at a convenience store. So as you can see, each method has its upsides and downsides. But now you know a couple of ways to pay your bill as it, uh, you don't have to worry about that anymore. So, if you find this useful then do let me know, and especially if you have any more questions then write it down in the comments and I'll get back to you and I'll hopefully see you soon this time instead of leaving it so long. Catch you later. Bye!